In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at small forwards and how you can become a better small forward, but also some of the roles that they have. So as a small forward, like Kawhi Leonard, we want to be able to slash towards the rim traditionally. However, today, the small forward role has changed just a bit. You have to be able to help out your guards to be able to dribble that ball up the court but also be able to find players and pass to them who are open, especially those ones who are in prime position to score. You also have to be able to run an offense, run a screen and roll, and be able to either pass or drive towards the rim and finish as well. And let's not forget, you also have to be able to shoot back many years ago 10 15 20 years ago a small forward didn't have to be able to shoot they just had to slash towards the rim but today they need to be able to shoot and be able to shoot at a high level so what we can see here is Kawhi Leonard dribbling the ball up the right side of the court at this time he's able to cross in front or across the middle of the court why is this important well this starts to draw up multiple defenders which leaves other players open so now by him crossing across the basketball court this is now putting James Harden into a position to guard two players Kawhi Leonard's able to see this and he's able to pass to the player in the middle of the key now why is this important well he's able to make that decision because we have James Harden starting to shadow over towards that far corner which then leaves a lane wide open for the center because of that we have Kawhi Leonard who passes at the center of the ball and that center is able to go up for the massive slam on top of James Harden that slam probably makes Giannis Antetokounmpo very happy let's also not forget that Kawhi Leonard is a very good passer and you should be as well this is a fantastic no look pass obviously he has has great court vision he also has great peripheral vision and now he is looking in this direction yet when he makes this pass he makes that pass towards his right side you want to be able to do misdirection which especially when you're in James Harden's case he's going to be really paying attention to Kawhi Leonard's eyes and face where they are pointing and if they are pointing a certain direction he James Harden is liable to be able to go into the direction as to where you're looking to pass but instead you're able to do a misdirection pass or a no look pass to the center in this case who's able to go and slam it on James Harden what makes really great small forwards and this goes for Michael Jordan even though I classify him as a shooting guard and same as Kobe Bryant what makes a really good small forward is the ability for him to be thinking attack the whole time so when he receives that ball right away he is looking at that rim he wants to be able to see if he can attack that rim he has a center here where he could pass to him but this center could do a nice box out and create a wide open lane towards that left side which is what we see happen this player does box out that defender and that creates a nice wide open lane for Kawhi Leonard to drive on he's able to drive on basically no defenders until that last second and then he's able to go up for that nice reverse something that he could also be looking at too is if this player was to sneak down towards this corner he may have been able to pass for an open three to Beverly let's not forget and go back to the roots of the small forward and that is being a slasher and a driver towards the rim so a lot of small forwards back in the day they would be in the corner they would cut back door and they'd be nice alley-oop lob passes to those players but to be an isolation small forward you need to be able to drive towards the basket and how does Kawhi Leonard do that here well he's able to get his shoulders lower than his defenders we can see that right there and then he's able to get past that defender by having his shoulders lower but also getting his shoulder in to get in front of that defender as soon as he's able to do that he's able to go and do a quick jump stop landing on two feet and going up powerfully jumping off of two feet by jumping off of two feet we have the ability to have obviously core strength is very important but by jumping off of two feet that keeps us balanced keeps us having a strong finish and by jumping off two feet we're able to then battle with some of the bigs and of course dunk on them if you can 
This is another great drive where he's able to get past his defender keeping his shoulders lower than his defenders, takes one to two dribbles, takes a quick hop, one, two, going off of two feet. Now, something special about Kawhi Leonard, he knows how to use angles really well. So even though this player is coming from this direction, he has another player coming from this direction, he has a lane right there. So instead of jumping into this defender and trying to finish with a posterization dunk, what he wants, likes to do is to jump into the open area to be able to create a dunk even so, still with his ability to finish. So being able to finish is very important. That is going to be the number one skill that all small, small forwards have and need to have. And that is being able to finish around the rim. Jumping off of two feet to be, to be steady and to be also very, very in control of your body. Lots of core strength is going to help you in this case. And then from there, understanding how to cut back door when there's defenders who are no longer looking at you. You can cut back door with your hand up. You can get some of those alley-oop lobs no matter what age group you are at. If you're younger, you can land with the ball first and then go up. If you're older, you can slam it down. And then also, being able to shoot the basketball is very important. You're going to be possibly one of the number one or number two options offensively for your team. So you need to be able to shoot that ball to keep that defense honest, keep that defense out, create space so you can attack the gaps. From there, you also want to be able to handle the ball quite well, still be able to handle a screen and roll, but able to handle the ball in the full court because you may just be an outlet player to be able to get that ball down court and create plays. Another little thing about Pascal Siakam, which we didn't cover in this video, and I classify him as a forward because he can play small forward and power forward, is with Pascal Siakam, one thing that really made him stand out in the NBA at first was he was able to run. And what I mean by that is the, his team would get the defensive rebound, he would be gone. They'd be able to bomb that ball down to him and it would be an uncontested dunk. And these are some of the tips that I can give you to become a better small forward. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.